Racing isn't just about speed, it's about breaking barriers. But on the NASCAR track, are female drivers facing more than just their male competitors? Are they being targeted because they're women, changing the race into a battle of gender as much as grit? Stay tuned to NASCAR Zone and let's dive into the high-speed world of NASCAR, where the fight for equality might just be the toughest competition of all. But before we jump, make sure you hit that subscribe button. So you've probably heard of Haley Deegan, right? If not, let me fill you in. Haley's kind of a big deal in the NASCAR scene. Kicking off her career with a bang, she's not just any driver. She's one of the few females tearing up the track in a world that, well, let's be honest, has pretty much been a boys club for the longest time. With her killer instinct on the track and a couple of historic wins under her belt, she's not just there to participate, she's there to compete and compete hard. But here's the kicker. Being a female in NASCAR isn't just about handling the car, it's like there's this whole other race happening off the track. The question that's been buzzing around is whether Haley and women like her in motorsports get a different kind of treatment because they're women. Are they being tested not just on their driving skills, but also on their ability to navigate a world that's not fully ready to accept them at face value? Think about it. Motorsports, NASCAR included, have been male-dominated for ages. So when a woman steps into that arena, it's not just a race, it's a statement. But what kind of statement is it turning out to be? Are female drivers like Haley getting wrecked more often than their male counterparts simply because they're gender? Or is it they're facing on the track just the rough and tumble nature of NASCAR, same as it is for everyone? So the world of NASCAR has been roaring since the 40s, but for the longest time it was like a secret club, and not the cool kind if you were a woman. That's not to say that women weren't around. They've been trying to elbow their way into this world from early on. But let's be real, the path was anything but a straight line. Take Louise Smith, for instance, the first lady of racing. She started racing in 1949 and had to disguise herself as a man just to compete. Imagine that today. Then there's Janet Guthrie in the 70s, breaking barriers and helmets, figuratively speaking, as the first woman to qualify and compete in both the Daytona 500 and the Indianapolis 500. And let's not forget about Danica Patrick, who's pretty much the poster child for women in motorsports these days, snagging the pole position at the Daytona 500 in 2013 and showing that yes, women can lead the pack. But here's the thing, even with these trailblazers setting the track on fire, the journey's been more uphill than a steep climb at Talladega. The challenges? Well, they've been varied as the paint schemes on race day. From not being taken seriously to fighting for sponsorships that are more freely handed to their male counterparts, female drivers have had to navigate more than just left turns. And then there are the attitudes. Some folks in the stands and even those in the pits still see women in racing as a novelty, not competitors. Sure, the tides are changing, but it's like trying to turn a battleship in a bathtub, slow and steady. When you compare this to the fellas in the field, the differences aren't just in the locker rooms. Opportunities for mentoring, sponsorships, and seat time in competitive cars often come easier for men. It's like the guys start the race half a lap ahead. But, and this is a big but, the engines of change are revving. Women are not only participating, they're competing, they're winning, and more importantly, they're inspiring. Young girls are now growing up seeing that NASCAR isn't just a dream for boys. And with drivers like Haley Deegan making noise, the good kind, it's clear that while the road has been bumpy, it's leading somewhere exciting. Well, before we cover this, make sure to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and stay tuned for each and every update. First off, let's talk about perception. Imagine strapping into your race car, ready to burn rubber, but the vibe you're getting from some male competitors and a chunk of the fans is more, what are you doing here, rather than welcome to the race. Yes, that's the reality for many female drivers. It's like they're not just racing against the other cars, they're also racing against stereotypes. Some folks still cling to the outdated notion that women can't handle the G-forces or make these split-second decisions racing demands. Spoiler alert, they absolutely can. And then there's the whole physical ordeal. Look, racing is grueling, no question about it. 
the cars are saunas on wheels, the g-forces can make your neck feel like it's about to snap, and the metal focus required is off the charts. Now the physical challenge is the same for everyone, but sometimes people act like it's a surprise women can handle it. Newsflash, they've been doing it, and doing it well. The thing is, female drivers often have to work even harder to prove they're not just physically capable, but exceptional. The mental game, though, that's a whole other circuit. Imagine constantly having to prove you belong, dealing with the whispers in the pit lane, and sometimes the outright hostility. It's like there's this extra layer of armor female drivers have to wear, not for the crashes, but to shield themselves from the doubt and discrimination. It's exhausting and necessary and, frankly, outdated. I've always had a lot of questions of like, why is there been not a female yet to go into NASCAR and be, I wouldn't much say a champion, but a, a fierce competitor that runs with the lead pack. So why do you think that hasn't happened yet? I would say that the men give up on the girls too quick. Okay. Yeah, I think somebody badass like you, you know, they. I've been in NASCAR my whole life and yeah. race teams don't like the parents around. Yeah, uh, I can give you a lot of examples. You know, my, my brother Rusty drove for Roger Penske. You know, it's like, give me your child, stay away. Yeah, I get uh, it. And, and it's just that it's just that kind of deal. But my my opinion, well, I mean, it's, it's like when I watch Danica Patrick and I yeah. watch Haley, they both, and listen, I'm a girl dad. I got three yeah, daughters. So I I'm, in the, I'm, in, I'm in a girl dad. But I am telling you, I know what I'm talking about. The, the guys abuse the girls on the racetrack. Yep. You, you see it all the time in all the videos. Yeah. I mean, your daughter's been wrecked more than she's wrecked. So the reason that it takes the girls longer is the guys, there's a crap load of male chauvinists still, and they just can't believe that a girl's out running me. Yeah. Oh my God, you know. Despite these hurdles, female drivers keep suiting up, buckling in and putting the pedal to the metal. Why? Because they love the sport. They thrive on the competition, the speed, the adrenaline. And each time they rev their engines, they're not just racing for a checkered flag. They're also driving change, lap by lap, in the perception of women in motorsports. So yeah, the road's been bumpy, the curves have been tight, and the hills steep. But female drivers in NASCAR, they've got the grit, the guts, and the gasoline to face these challenges head on. And that, my friends, is what makes them not just competitors, but champions in the making. Haley Deegan's rise in NASCAR hasn't been a quiet one. She's had her fair share of spotlight moments, some for crossing the finish line first, and others, well, for less celebratory reasons. There have been instances on the track that have left fans and critics alike wondering, was that really just racing, or is there more to it? Alright, that's pretty much it for this video. Hit that subscribe button for more videos like this one.